Welcome back guys to another epic Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to respawn our characters once they have died. So let's begin. So what I've done already is I've moved my cube from over here to over here and this is going to be my respawn location and in your case the location might be wherever. So all you gotta do is have the coordinates of the X, Y and Z axis of where you want your character to be spawned in and I'm just simply going to select this cube so I have these opened and I would know them. And now I'm gonna open up my third person character and let's begin. So once our character has died we are simulating the physics for our character so that it can fall on the ground and uh, the first thing what we are going to do is set our character back to normal. So we are passing through the true or false variable depending on whether we want to simulate the physics or not. So we don't need to change this because if we pass through the false value this is going to set everything like it is supposed to but we need to reset these two nodes. So I'm going to do a if branch from the value boolean and if this is true, if we are simulating the physics, then we can proceed with the code we already created before. But if not, then I'm going to copy these nodes. And this is going to be our false. And we need to connect. So this is the mesh component and the other one is the capsule component. So for the capsule component, we need to enable the physics back on. And for the mesh, we need to check so we can select the mesh go down to the collision and we can see that by default this is a character mesh so we need to set this back to character mesh like so and this will work just fine so what we can do now is here I have my make me dead where we are dying and here we are going to do a delay and let's do a delay of let's say five seconds or actually for the testing I will just do two seconds right now and after this is done we need to um, what was the name again simulate simulate physics yeah that was the name of the function and for the component we need to use our mesh so there we go and for the capsule component of course we need to use the capsule component and the boolean value is false so that's that for this and the next thing what we should do is reset our um, health yeah we reset our health and all the other variables that we have so what we can do is create a custom event and I'm gonna call this custom event reset stats or let's call it reset variables and I'm gonna make another one custom event and I'm gonna call this server reset variables variables so the first one like always is run on server and the other one is multicasted and from here we will run the second one so reset server reset variables and so let's reset these so let's select our items and let's do the health we'll go to the max health the hunger is going to be set to the max hunger the thirst is going to be set to max thirst whoops max thirst there we go and the stamina is set to max stamina there we go so that's that now let's reset our inventory so let's select the inventory let's set this and we need to drag from this and we need to make an array and we need to right click on this zero and we need to remove the this pin so that this would be an empty array like it usually is by default so the next thing what we should do is reset uh, our equipment items so let's see I'm going to set all of these so I'm gonna set this and actually I might do this like downwards so I'm gonna set like so so the pants boots and the weapon and I'm just going to simply connect this like so so we are connecting all of these 
there we go and we need to set this to our empty item like it is by default there we go so we have this set up so now we can run this event so this is reset variables so after we are simulating back the physics we are going to do reset variables there we go now the next thing what we should do is set the location for our character so again we need two more events so custom event the first one is going to be respawn player and the next one I'm gonna call server respawn player and let's see so the first one like always is run on server run on server and the other one is multicasted and now we need two uh, components and let me see so now we need to add two parameters and I'm gonna call the first one let's call this mesh and this needs to be a primitive component and the other one as well needs to be a primitive component but this is going to be our capsule and we're gonna do the same thing for this one as well so we have a mesh and a capsule and from the first one we are running the second one so respawn and yeah like always of course we need to compile first so that the engine would know the values so server so respawn now we have the mesh and the capsule because before it was just a new parameter and it might glitch out well it not might but it actually will and now over here we need to drag from our mesh and we need to do set relative location and rotation like so and we need to select our mesh and we need to write down these values so in my case this is 0 0 and this is minus 87 and for the rotation 0 0 and this is to 70 like so now from our capsule component I will do set world location and let's do the rotation as well because we might want to rotate our character on the spawn I'm not gonna do that but you can rotate your character uh, depending how you want to do that so for the location I'm gonna use oops so I'm gonna click on this cube to get the location and now I will type in the values so 3340 minus 4210 and this is 200 but I want my character to spawn on top of the cube not inside of the cube so I'm gonna type this 500 like so so this should now respawn our character pretty good um, let's see the next thing what we need to do is remove so we are removing the variable values but we also need to reset these skeletal mesh components as well so over here we have this server unequip item event like so and what we could do over here we have two options we could duplicate this event and uh, remove the switch and just run all of these or we could actually just simply copy just the ending part like so so let's copy this like so actually I will do this at the end and I will drag from the default pin basically what this does the default pin it means that if we don't meet any of these uh, in our type that means that we are going through the default pin like so but you could also create another event for this but I'm just simply not going to do that so the next thing what I will do is make a reroute for this one as well so add reroute node and add another reroute node there we go copy all of this like so and now I will run the execution pins like this and let's make this a bit bigger
and let's do so in this case we are not simply running this we are not destroying this because we don't know if we have this so instead of just simply running this I'm gonna do is valid to check if this is valid and if this is valid then we can destroy the actor otherwise if this is not valid we don't need to destroy an actor because if we are trying to destroy an actor which does not exist we are getting an error so this should look something like this and this technically should work pretty good so let's see the name of the event is server collect unequip so I'm gonna go to my make me dead and I'm gonna run this so server collect unequip and the player is a reference to ourselves so self and let's leave this empty so also you could do let's say like um, let's call this reset and you could add a pin to this event and call this reset reset and you could run this through here like so instead of using the def default one but I'm just going to use the default in my case so that should do the trick let's see so respawn player reset variable so reset variable. oh and we don't have the so let's do this respawn player as well let's use again the mesh and capsule components there we go so the last few things that we have not done is well we need to relaunch our need system we need to set our character back to being alive and also when we die and we ragdoll we are detaching our character mesh from the capsule component so we need to reattach it back and we need to do this before we are setting these locations so I'm going to drag this back I'm gonna drag from my mesh and I'm gonna do attach to and we need to select the one which is um, attached to component to attach this to component to another scene component so at, let's attach this so that it would say scene component so basically our mesh is the target that's the thing that we want to attach and we want to attach this to the capsule so the parent is the capsule like it is here in our hierarchy here here I can't spell that thing but you know what I mean <laughs> so for our rules we need to set these to keep world there we go and now let's set our character to being alive once it has died so I'm going to set my is dead over here to being true uh, false I mean because it is uh, true right now so now we need to be alive again and also we need to relaunch our hunger system so I'm gonna create a custom event over here which I'm gonna call server start needs system and I'm going to run this on server and what I might do is move this up a notch and put this right here and run this event like so so there we go and now we need to run this so server start needs system like so and I believe this is everything that we needed to do so now if we would compile and save this let's go to the game and let's test this out let's pick up some items so let me let me drink some water real quick and let's pick up some items over here and while that character is dying we might equip something so blouse shoes jeans hat and a revolver so this character has been reset the items are missing and the hunger system is working again so now let's see this character just a few seconds and the character has died and our inventory is back to being empty and we have no equipped items on us so that's great and uh, yeah everything is working pretty smoothly so this is going to be it for this tutorial we are successfully respawning our characters after they are dead and we are also resetting the inventory back to being empty and uh, yeah so thanks for watching uh, leave a like leave a comment and see you guys in the next video